Hi everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. Let us start question number 3 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Pure Math 2. This exam was taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA12 slash 01. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. Use the laws of logarithm solve 2 log 2 minus x base 2 is equals to 4 plus log x plus 10 base 2. For the first part, you need to solve it. You need to find the value of x. For that, the best thing collect the log with logs log values on one side of equation. We will move this value to the left side. For first part, if you bring that value to the left side, it becomes minus 2 log 2 minus x base 2 minus log x plus 10 base 2 is equals to 4. There is a rule if some multiple is here. Let me tell you that rule of logarithm like log a power b is equals to b log a. This power becomes this multiple becomes the power of this one. If you notice that, so we can this multiple becomes the power of this one. So we can write as log 2 minus x power 2 base 2 minus log log x plus 10 base 2 is equals to 4. There is another rule like log a minus log b minus log b is equals to log a over b. If two logarithms are subtracting, we can divide them together. So, we can change this one into log 2 minus x whole square divided by x plus 10 base 2 is equals to 4. Another uh, law of logarithm that is uh, like this, if it is like that, log a base b is equals to c, we can interchange these two, okay. This c becomes the power of b. If you want to get rid of log, it is a rule. b to the power c is equals to a. We can apply this formula, this rule over here. We will interchange these two. 4 becomes the power of the base. So we can write as 2 power 4 is equals to 2 minus x whole square over x plus 10. Now you do cross multiply 2 power 4 is 16. 16 into x plus 10 is equals to 2 minus x whole square. Now expand the right hand side. You can write here right and left hand side 16x plus 160 is equals to expanding the square, square of 2 is 4, the product will be minus 4x and uh, here x square plus x square. Now you can bring these two values to the right side. So we can write as x square plus minus 4x minus 16 is minus 20. 160, 4 minus 160 is minus 156 equals to 0. We can factorize this or you can use a quadratic formula. If you multiply this one with minus 156, you will choose such a pair that is making by adding or subtracting uh, that will make minus 20. It looks like that if you multiply negative 26 by 6, you will get the answer minus 156. By multiplying, you are getting the same number. If you add or subtract these two numbers, you will get the middle value. So there will be two pairs here. One will be equals to minus uh, x minus 26 and other will be x plus 6 equals to 0. Now we will get answers for x that is equals to 26 and other answer will be equals to minus 6. Now move back to the question. Now we have two answers but uh, both are not our solutions. We have to check the answers. Look here. If you plug in the values in this equation, it should satisfy. But if you put the positive value over here in this equation, look here, 26, it becomes log 2, 2 minus 26 
so you are getting here a negative answer log negative 24 if you are replacing in this equation uh, 26 you are getting negative logarithm negative logarithm is not possible so we cannot find the logarithm for the negative values got it so you reject this one we will reject it after checking but make sure which one is correct answer in this type of question you have to check your answers okay all answers of x are not our solutions reject this one and accept this one so this will be our solution hopefully you understand this question number three the first part is done next part we need to solve this log a to the power six base square root a for second part log a to the power six square root base square root a again there is a law of logarithm by using this law we can interchange this one log a base b it is called changing the base uh, you can write here log a with base 10 and here log b there is no difference this is the formula here base is 10 log a base b can be written as log a over log b same way we can interchange this one log a to the power 6 with base 10 log square root a got it and now we can uh, bring this power this power becomes the multiple uh, by the law of logarithm 6 log a and uh, here you can write as log a to the power 1 over 2 you know that square root is power 1 over 2 therefore we can write as 6 log 6 log a divided by this half becomes the multiple of log a you know that this by a law of logarithm this log a will cancel out and you know that it is it, it will be like this 6 multiplied 2 over 1 6 divided by half so it means 6 multiplied by 2 finally we get the answer as 12 so this is the answer for the second part question number 3 is done if you have any question any doubt please write in the comment box thank you